Not bad if he can hold on to that position. But we do have the Russian, Maxim Kovtun, who would no doubt like to dethrone him from that position at the moment. He actually won the Cup of France last year. Departure for him, I kind of like it. A little risky putting a chain on your uh, costume. You could get your hand stuck in there and screw up an element. Speaking of elements, four revolutions, that's big. Quad Sao, triple toe, a little fight at the end, but that's exciting stuff. Putting some points on the board. That quad was big, huge. That's why he can score well. He can turn four times in the air. His difficulty is consistency. Didn't get that takeoff. The timing wasn't right, but he got the four revolutions in anyways. Does it come to that where the quad doesn't even have to be perfect and they can still do them? Apparently so. Yeah. It's amazing. Only guy to do two in the short, too. Triple Axel is not done jumping yet. So That's different than the skater we just saw was easy. Shoma, he put three of his jumps in the second half, getting a 10% bonus on this, whereas Maxim has done all his jumps three in a row, and now we've got a very lopsided program to deal with. It's one of the things that holds him back. strategy and choreography of a program is so important because it may be that he's tried it, you know, when he was doing the program, tried it different ways around and it just didn't work for him. I mean, he's a little bit older than Shona. <laughs> just the dark everyone. pony. Yeah. So. In the end, you have to go with the strategy that works for you. Well, as Phil Collins just said, selling everything, and he's selling the movement, and he's selling the steps, but I'm not sure he's selling it to himself. I just feel like I'm thinking too much instead he of just He might be selling, it. but is anybody buying? That's the question. It's a fine line, isn't yeah. it? Between yeah. getting out on the ice and having everyone really follow along with you or just watch it. Maxim Kovtun of Russia. He's a two-time and reigning national champ. Looking for some big marks here in order to dethrone Japan's Shoma Uno, who he is holding should, on to top spot. Should get him lots of energy in that program, well executed and big quads. Yep. Well, we will have his marks when we return here on Road to the Olympic Games, so don't go anywhere. Maxim Kovtun of Russia. He was at the recent Mordovian ornament event and won that one, so feeling pretty good entering into the Grand Prix season. I actually really enjoyed the first 10 seconds of choreography, mm -hmm. and then you gotta have fun watching a guy do a quad salad that big. Little struggle with his first two jumping passes, which didn't give him extra points. He actually lost points in quality, but that guy elevates. Those are high jumps. Trouble is, they're too high for how far they go across the ice, making them very difficult to land, kind of like a plane coming down too steep. And compared to a Patrick, who, even if he doesn't do the jumps, I'm sold on the rest of the program. I can just watch him skate. Because he did all his jumps in the first half of the program, for me, 
watching him skate is not is not as interesting. Well, he's going to need a big number here. 89.57 is what he's going to need. Yeah, Shoma really put a big score up. And he will not do it. 86.82 to put him in second. He should be happy. That's a great score. Maxime obtained a total score of 86.82. So, the young skater from Japan gets gold on the Grand Prix circuit here. Maxim Kovtun of Russia will take silver. And Daisuke Murakami of Japan will also be on the podium. He will take bronze. He also took bronze at Skate Canada. Dennis Ten, you can see they're finishing off the podium. Patrick Chan finishing with the fifth position. And we've talked about this before with just the short program counting. That is a gold for him, but a fifth place. So we'll see how that will affect him moving forward.